We all pretend to be fine Hey guys, my name is Phoenix Wolf and welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing off today two ways of getting game audio like a party chat or your friend's chat or chat in a lobby. Because say somebody's being mean or something to you and you're wanting to record it or you're wanting to record some videos with your friend. Now, as you can see, I'm just loading up my Xbox just to show you a clean run of how to do this stuff. When we do this video, guys, I'm going to be explaining a lot of stuff. Now, first off, this works really well with the Elgato. I personally use the Elgato, and I like the Elgato. The reason why is it's, number one, easy to use. Number two, it's not that, like, the you'll see. The uh, software that you come that gets with the Elgato that you can buy, like you don't have to buy. I mean, it's free to download, but you can download it and use it. It's really simple. Now, as you guys can see, I went all the way over to the settings while talking with you guys. We're gonna go to preferences, and then we're gonna go to our no voices. You are gonna take the game volume, turn it down all the way down to one, where you're gonna take your voice audio and slam it all the way up to ten. This works with the Xbox uh, 360. The Xbox One, I'm not sure of because I'm not able to. I have not tested this with it because I do not own an Xbox One. Neither do I own a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 3. But if it has similar settings like this, where you control control the voice volume and the game audio, the volume separately, then yes, this will work with it. Also, make sure you have the voice output as both headsets. And speakers if you're using a headset why do I recommend using a headset well number one this microphone will not detect the game audio and you won't get like a double feed when you're doing this stuff like you won't get your video recording software it won't be feeding in uh, basically the same feed twice like you won't you won't hear this thing you won't hear this echo one out if you don't have a game headset what do I suggest for you guys? Well, easy. Turtle Beach X12s is what I use. Really great little headset. Works like a charm. And I'm not kidding you. If you can get yourself hands on an, an X12 set or some type of cheap headset that displays game audio through the speakers, because this is just stereo audio that's coming through. It's not anything professional. It's not 7.1. It's not 5.1. It's just stereo sound that's coming through. If you guys can get your hands on this, a pair of these or onto something else that you prefer. It can be Turtle Beaches, Tritons. Uh, let's see what else is out there. You got Skull Candy. has got their series out there. Personally, get whatever brand you'd like. But make sure it can play audio through it. The reason why is because then, as I said before, you won't have to have your uh, TV playing audio and then that could get detected by your microphone. Now, my personal recommendations. As I said, I personally recommend the Elgato because number one, out of all the uh, capture cards I've used, it seems like it's the cheap, it might not be the cheapest route for you people who are just starting out, but it's the route that a lot of big name YouTubers have taken and a lot of them use it. Uh, you could get a Hapog Gaming Edition 2, that's an HDMI recorder, I believe. Or you've got the Roxio Game Capture 2, I believe it is. That's also an HDMI. Why do I suggest HDMI? Well, my friends, analog is starting to go out of the way. What I mean is, you guys remember the giant cord where you had like the three, the red, white, red, yellow, white, and you had the green, blue, and another yellow or red, I forget what it was. But it would all connect into the back of the HD TVs. That only outputs in 720. HDMI outputs in 1080, but the Elgato uh, outputs in 720, but that can easily be changed to 1080p depending on which settings you use. It can also be easily adjusted into 1080p with the right video editing software. You can use Sony Vegas Pro 12, as I state later on, or you could get like Adobe After Effects or even Pinnacle Studio 16 or 17, whichever one you prefer. 
The green screen you see behind me, that came from Pinnacle Studio 16. I did use it for a bit. It's okay and it's very, very flaky when it comes to Windows 8.1. That's the reason why I had to update. Now, Sony Vegas is flaky as well with uh, Windows 8.1, especially the version I'm using right now. So I might have to go see if there's an update that I'm missing for uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12. But yeah, so far it's working great. Um, you got the Aver Media that's out there. I strongly, strongly recommend staying away from that. The reason why I say this is because the Aver Media boasts about having this uh, ability to basically record without having your computer near you. Okay, I'm just going to stop you there, Aver Media. In order to do my video editing, though, I've got to have it go to a computer. Sure, I can straight upload it onto YouTube and then use YouTube's own creative video editing to do the editing work right there and then for me. But I still have to get it to a computer. So my big question becomes, why do I need to take it from an SD card into a computer? That just has another point of failure. Whereas the Elgato, you have only literally one point of failure and that's the Elgato system itself. Sure, the cables might go, as some people would like to say, but I personally have not had a problem with the Elgato. I've used it from the beginning of when I started my YouTube stuff. Well, when I started this channel, actually, is when I started using it. Um, I used to actually, it, well, no, I didn't start out with it. No. Correction. I started out with the EasyCap capture card. This thing is like a $5 system. I would not recommend it because it barely does 480p. That's what I got out of it. It's uh, straight analog and whatnot. It's, it's a waste of money. Don't do it. But, again, my recommendations would be a Pog Gaming Edition 2, Roxio Game Capture 2, the one that's the HDMI. Uh, you've got the pass-through cap uh, capabilities with HDMI. Or the Elgato. The Elgato is my top pick. The Apog is my second to top pick. And the Roxio comes out as my third pick. Thank you, guys, and let's move on to the next part. So here we are now within the Elgato setup and whatnot. As you guys can see, I've down this comes right off of Elgato's website and whatnot, so you'll have a lot of fun getting used to it. It's very simple, easy layout. As you guys can see, I still have the voice volume and the game volume off of our Xbox 360, still at the same level, so I've got 10 and 1. Now I'm going to have the game audio, which will be recording mainly the vo voices of your friends and whatnot, at minus 9 or minus 10 decibels. Depending on which one you want to go, I said minus 9 just because it's a, I like minus 9. It sounds, for me, it sounds better. Um, now, you've got your audio. I have that set at 0 decibels, with it automatically reducing game sound. You will activate it by hitting this button. And you can also select whichever microphone you'd like. I've got two right now hooked up to this computer, so yeah. Also, if you go down here, you'll see it has the capability to export to Twitch. Uh, you can live stream out of this, and you can set random tags and whatnot. Automatically, it'll set great games, and everything that you make out of here will be called My Great Capture or My Great Game. You'll have to set a specific name, though. Uh, for this stuff so that you get to make sure that you know what you're doing also it has shadow recording as you guys can see down here it's basically it's right now recording everything I'm doing on my Xbox which means I can go back in time and say I have got a really cool thing so as you guys can see you guys can tell right by up here it says 907 whereas if I go all the way forward it says 910 now what this allows you to do is say you've got a great game and whatnot you guys can come in here and say, oh man, I'm so, oh, I forgot to hit that record button. Come back through. You can record from this point to whatever point you want to stop at. Great for shadow recording because this, is, this saves you quite a few times. Now, it does have a small little video editor right within here. And you can automatically share to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, email, Apple TV, iPad, iPhone, Movie Maker, MP4 Original, and MP4 1080p. I strongly suggest that you save everything as MP4 original. 
The reason why is because it's a great little thing, and especially if you get like Sony Vegas Pro 12 or you get any other video editing software, it saves as that. Whereas an MP4 1080p automatically re makes the size to 1080p file. Where that comes as a disadvantage is when you're trying to. So here is option two, guys. Um, we have OBS or Open Broadcasting Software. It's a really great free video recorder and whatnot. It can record your monitor, it can record your Elgato, it can control your webcam, it can control anything you would like to throw in it. What you just do is you have to add in all your sources, such as your window capture, your monitor capture, image capture, image slideshow, global sources, text, video capture device, and game capture devices. You can have multiple scenes, so say you are get called away while you're live streaming, bam, throw on the second uh, little thing. And away you go. You can also mute your microphone with uh, various hotkeys and whatnot. You can have many profiles in here. I've got my untitled one as my test bed, my stream as where I stream everything from, my Elgato, my 1080p when I capture stuff on my computer screen. Now let's get into my settings. So as you can see, I have it labeled as Elgato. You can rename it, remove it, add all these different little things to it. Yeah. With this uh, Elgato, I've got it being captured at a bit rate of 15,000, which is really good and it's really for high quality 1080p videos. Uh, I've got the quality bit balance all the way up to 10. I also have the video capture at 1280 by 720, but with, with this uh, bit rate and the quality balance, it brings it up to a 1080p video. You can also have it already export with the Elgato software and whatnot as a 1080p video, as an MP4 1080p video, if you like to do it that route. I also have it going at 60fps because now YouTube records at a 60fps. I can also have m many, many microphones in this. What I mean by that is you can have, uh, say you've got like four or five different recording style stuff, like you've got a headset that you got plugged in, so when you're talking with games and whatnot, you want to use that, versus your webcam, versus your standalone microphone, whatever you want. You can have it all in here. Now, you can also have this record your uh, audio, and because I'm right now using the Elgato, I just have it on desk, desk, uh, default, so it'll just pick up on the Elgato right away, and away we go. You can force your microphone to auxiliary or mono, which that means uh, is basically you're taking it so from having on two tracks where it's going out of both speakers, you're condensing it and making it just come out of one speaker. I do not recommend this, especially for you guys who are wanting to actually do well on YouTube. Do not do this option. Moving on, I've got the mute and unmute key for my um, microphone set as F1, so if I got called away, bam, hit that, load up scene two, and away I go. Now, the Elgato does have a small, small delay from the time the audio hits it to the audio that gets to your computer. So I've got my microphone set at about 1500 millisecond display uh, delay, and it's just fine and dandy. Advanced settings, I really would not worry about. This is all what comes already on it, so I would not touch anything of it because it looks and allows for really, really great stuff. So don't touch that at all. You can have noise gates, so say you've got a high voice, you can change it so that it only records your high voice, or if you've got a lower voice, you can change it so it only records the lower voice. Now, with this, you can set it so where like the open threshold is when it starts recording, and the closed threshold is when it shuts itself, so that the microphone's not getting any of that background feed stuff. In a nutshell, this is probably one of my better, this is the better option if your computer can handle OBS. Not all computers can, so we're gonna just have to. You're gonna have to play around and see which one your computer can handle. Uh, in the links below, I will include the link for a microphone that I suggest, which is actually only about 14, 15 bucks. Uh, it's really great, even though it's got a low price on it. Uh, for starting off, that's gonna work you very. That's gonna be for you very well. If you're wanting a standalone microphone, if you're not, I would recommend a Turtle Beach headset. Um, for game capture, I'm gonna have down in the links below the Elgato's. Amazon link and whatnot. Also, I'm going to have the link to the Elgato website so you can download the software. I also have a download link for the OBS. That is about it. But if you guys have any questions for me uh, through the day or if anything else pops up, just feel free to comment down below and I'll get to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Phoenix Wolf signing out.